we were up seven, so I mean, when you're up, you don't want to um, push the panic button um, like uh, Brighton did, I feel like, and uh, we just stuck with it. Were you surprised that they played when you guys came out for the second half of yeah, I was actually really surprised. I thought they were going to stall it again, but you know, they we started playing into our game and we got some stops and really pushed the tools. In the second half, would you have let them keep stalling or would you have gone out after them? Um, I couldn't tell you. They, they started playing against us, so we just we started playing. How, how much were you guys laughing at halftime? Were you like, What's going on? What you know, we we're, we're kind of joking around, but we, we knew in the game plan that this was going to be um, one of their game plans, so we were we were prepared for it. Going out for the, the second half, I mean, how much did you have to warm up to really kind of find your shot again? You know, we we pushed it even harder in warm-ups in the second half because, you know, it's, it's hard when you're just standing there for eight minutes to get into a groove, and, you know, we started hitting shots right off the second half, and Connor Toulson hit a really nice shot and really got it going. Yeah, a little bit, but you know, me and Brandon are really good buddies, and I, I respect Brandon a ton. And he's a great player. He's leaving on his mission soon, so I, res I respect Brandon a lot. Do you know that you have the assignment brought in? I mean, he's a great player, and you're not used to chasing the best. You know, I've played with Brandon a while now, and I uh, know what he does and what he likes. So you know, I, I was coach for that defensive assignment. And I don't know what his stats were, but I think we did a pretty good job on him.